lead generation again. <laughs> um, metrics as well, though, not just lead generation, um, to be fair. And it's funny, I seem to meet two sorts of people in this world. Um, some who just can't see past metrics and numbers, even when they're the boss, they're in charge of the business, it's their business. And there's no real requirement for them to measure these things. They still get hung up on metrics. And I do understand. I do get it. Um, I was talking with a guy just yesterday who seemed to think that the fact that I wouldn't commit to his sales metrics being driven by my content meant that I wasn't confident in what we were doing here at Javelin. It's not the case. Um, I know the content can make you successful. I've done it in my previous job. I was a full-time sales rep at that job, solutions consultant. I made that job a success. I made that business a success and I did it with content. Now I run my own business. I've made it a success through content but it's me working full time on it and I'm in control of that, all the aspects of that. Um, what we do is more about brand and education and brand authority than it is lead generation metrics and sales. Who cares whether you get 10,000 views or 100? If the 100 views you get are from your ideal target audience, and it brings some business your way. Who cares? A little bit tongue in cheek, but who cares whether you get one piece of business right now that's a bad fit as a result of somebody's watched one piece of your content, not really understood who you are, and have signed up, or somebody who comes to you in six months' time, gets it, comes on board really quickly and easily, is an exact fit for what you wanted, and brings three of their pals your way. That's the power of content. But there's so much there that's not within the realm of the videos that we produce on behalf of the clients. So if you're thinking about content, if you're thinking about brand, then you're on the right track and you should definitely give it a go. If your worry is metrics and KPIs and revenue generated and sales generated and clients on the door, then there's other marketing angles that you can use that generate those things. Content is a bit harder to measure which makes people uncomfortable. Nobody's gonna tell you that they saw six of your LinkedIn posts before they watched your podcast, before they went to your website, before they booked up. That's the sad truth of it, unless you dig really hard. So bear that in mind. If you're gonna, you're gonna go with content marketing, think of it as PR, first of all. Think of it as PR work. And secondly, be prepared to do the groundwork to prove it out or you're just going to have to have faith that it works. Some of us do. Some of us have seen it in action. Some of us know it has faith. Some, some of us know that it has results. Others haven't seen that yet, and I totally get it. 